Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, and I'm rebranding it as the Magic Brad Show. And today I've got someone that's over on the east side, over there. Well, they're actually on the south side of the East Way, Chicago. Is she there, Kimberly? Yes, I'm here. Yay, Kimberly Thomas from Chicago. The Windy City. You know, Chicago's got a big thing there called the, um, uh, it's the Magic Lounge, the Chicago Magic Lounge. Yeah, we have quite a few magic places. I, I like magic. Yeah. I, and I'm looking forward to seeing your magic trick. <laughs> Okay, I'll show you one. Ready? This is about perception. See these two fingers, that one and that one? One's yes. a little bit longer than the other one. From yes. your point of view and all the viewers, but from my point of view, this one looks longer than that one. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That's weird. Here we go. Perception. Make magic. Look at my product placement. <laughs> we all got it going on. Thank you very much. Please, please, please. please. Okay, Kimmy, let's, let's talk about you. So you're from Chicago, you married and got kids and all that stuff? Are you single, wild and crazy? What's up? I am single and ready to mingle. <laughs> but, uh, I have three sons, they're 21, 19 and 16. I'm a divorcee, I've been divorced for 10 years. Okay, three of them. Yes, three, three wonderful sons. I, I was love gonna say, are they good boys? They are awesome boys and they're entrepreneurs. Um, they learned that from both my, my ex-husband and myself, as well as their grandparents are entrepreneurs. So we come from a long line of entrepreneurs. And so that's all they know. And now they're cutting hair. Um, they're opening up garages to open up a tenting shop. And, and then my oldest son has um, a, a vendor uh, business where he's selling the different PPE, the mask and everything. Oh, sure. So a real entrepreneur, all of a sudden when that's done, he's going to pivot to the next thing. It's uh, fidget spinners and then we're going to go off and <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You know, I wish they would teach entrepreneurism in school, but I believe that society, the, the one world order or whatever, doesn't want us to be free to be entrepreneurial because when you have a job, nine to five, you can only work so many hours, so there's only 24 hours in a day, and you can only make so much because your employer can only afford to pay you so much, so you're in a box. Yes. When you get out and you be entrepreneurial, there's nothing saying he can't start creating vendor events all over the country. You know, there's very scalable yes. and you can do a lot of different stuff. So I like that entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, speaking of money, that's what you're all about, money. Yes, I am. Money is a tool that makes the world go around. You know, and a lot of people say they, they say like, uh, like money is the root of all evil, but it's really not the root of all evil. It's maybe the love of money where you kind of put all your family aside and I want money, money. But money is just, you know, they call it currency for a reason. It circulates. It's basically a byproduct of energy. You know, you do something and you give me some money, and then I do something, I give it to somebody else, and it's just kind of flowing it around. It's just a measurement device, really, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it needs to circulate, because if you hold it tight in your hands, you aren't allowing yourself to receive any more money or give any more money. So it right. needs to be fluid. It needs to circulate. Yeah, it's like a clot. I don't want a clot. <laughs> let it go, let it flow, right? <laughs> <laughs> So this is probably not even relevant to what you do, but um, what are your thoughts on the whole cryptocurrency thing? You Digital. know what? I'm, I'm kind of a fan of cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. Uh, so I've always had an interest in Bitcoin. Um, I do have a little bit of Bitcoin myself because uh, for those folks that have the cash app, you're able to get fractional shares of Bitcoin on cash app. Because right now, Bitcoin is about $9,000 a share. But when the coronavirus first came out, it was about down to maybe about $2,000, $2,500. I should have bought more, but I didn't. Well, it's an interesting thing in that, uh, like I always say, Captain Kirk never carried a wallet. You know, he didn't need no money. It's all digital. So his value is in whatever he does. And it just kind of comes into his account and goes out of his account. And it's getting to be that way. I mean, money, it's kind of a weird thing, isn't it? It's kind of, you know, especially paper money. 
It's kind of well, not backbiting. But, but I think you should always have a little bit of paper money and also have a good space in your home, a nice little safe where you can keep it there because you never know. Just like we were talking about earlier, how different things are cyclical and they need to circulate. We'll probably get right back to paper money and gold and silver and, and bartering. We'll probably get right back to that. The you diversity, uh, the diversified portfolio. That's always smart. You, you, they've said it before, always. You don't put your eggs in one basket. It's kind of it's dangerous. True. And it's 11 sectors of the market. So that's kind of where that comes from. So you have either your energy or your industrials or your real estate. So you really do need to have your money in various different places in the market because sometimes some sectors are doing better than most. And you want to make sure that you're captivating all the better days of the market well, as best as you can. Yeah. So yeah. if, if you have a diversified portfolio, then that's good, but it's also good to purchase real estate as well to have that income coming in. Yep, I've got my stuff in REITs. Ooh, nice. I put it in REITs because I believe that uh, Maslow's hierarchy says you need security, so you need a roof over your head. Yes. So the REITs portfolio is shopping malls, which are hurting, but they're resorts, storage lockers, residential, commercial, um, apartment complexes, retirement homes. So yes, it's pretty yes. diversified in real estate, but it's solid because I think we always need to roof over our head. We used to have caves. <laughs> yeah, and that was their roof, their roof. And, and technically, we still have caves. It's just a little fancier cave where we have maybe- Yeah, man-made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I love the fact that you're in REITs and then also in um, different um, hotels and stuff because now coronavirus is allowing us to get outside a little bit and people are going to start traveling. So you'll see some movement in that region. Yeah. You know, speaking on that, like moving into more what you do is like you're like a financial planner, financial advisor, right? I don't know the terminology behind it. Yeah, so I took a, a course. Uh, I have a Series 65 that allows me to be a financial advisor. So as an advisor, what I do is I help people make smart choices with their very, very hard earned dollars. Cause you go to work every day, your money should be going to work for you every single day. So what I do is I help them put together a game plan and the game plan always has the end in mind. So some people's ends are different. Your end could possibly be, I just want to have a good time doing more shows like this and, and, and have a good time and travel and enjoy your funds. But other people might want to retire, send the kids to college or whatever. So that's what the plan is all about. It's kind of like algebra where you figure out what the goal is and then you just put the stuff in place to reach it, right? Exactly. <laughs> cool. Exactly. Yay. That's all, that's, that's all it is. Is there any specific group that you prefer to work with? Is it like people just got out of college or are you looking for people that are on the edge because they're, they're reaching the sunset? <laughs> Is it the last chapter kind of thing? Or what kind of people are you looking for? I, I love to help people that are interested in retirement. So retirement is always a goal of some people because they go to work every day, but they know they're not going to go to work for the rest of their lives because they kind of want to enjoy some of the some of the fruits of their labors. So once again, putting together a game plan for retirement to make sure that all the gaps for the income that they need for the lifestyle that they currently have and they want to continue is filled. So once again, like that algebraic uh, question, you just um, that formula that we just talked about where we just filling in the gaps. So uh, retirement, I love that as well as I love helping people just making sure that they have diverse portfolios, making sure that they're covered tax wise because taxes is on top of everybody's mind right now with the deadline coming up July 15th. So we wanna make sure we have a, a nice, comfortable retirement and possibly even tax free. What do you say to like, I came from a more of a poor family. My dad was in construction. My mom was the homemaker and we didn't have a whole bunch of money to be able to set aside. But I wish that my mom and dad would have put a dollar a month into an account because of the whole concept of compounding to keep on yes. feeding it. That's the, you know, the whole penny doubled every day thing is, is amazing. 
Compounded interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Compounded interest. So you're right. You don't have to start with a whole bunch of money. And for the most part, all of my people are hardworking people. I, I have a lot of families that I serve that are police officers and firemen. Um, I have construction workers. I have construction owners and builders, uh, a lot of teachers. So just people that are really serious about their money. Um, the firm that I am affiliated with, we do have some high net worth clients, um, but for the most part, we work with anyone that is serious about making sure that their money is growing and helping them do what they need to do. And like my wife is a coach. She, she helps people. She's more of a life coach kind of thing, but I'm saying this because it's always good to have someone that is not you <laughs> to be able to yeah. see it from the outside and see, oh my God, did you realize that you got that Netflix account, but you never, ever, ever watch it? Yes. And $12 could go into. Yes, 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 yes. And that, that's kind of, that's the idea behind being an advisor, being a coach. So first, what we do is find out what the goals are. Second, what we do is find out where are you spending your money, looking at that budget real closely. So a lot of people, maybe they need to cancel the Netflix or cancel some hair appointments and some nail appointments. Maybe they may not take as many vacations, only because we have to make sure that we're working with the end in mind. If you are living currently off of $5,000 or $10,000 a month and you like the lifestyle that you have right now, you have to put away a certain amount of money each month or each time you get paid to continue that lifestyle. So it's about trimming the fat, making sure that we don't overspend and budgeting is a key component of that. Is that something that you help people with? Because what I'm getting at is the... Um the discipline of taking a little bit out and moving it every month, or is there's, there's like software that does it. I know that my bank allows me to do that and shift stuff into different accounts. So I've got it set where I just put money into the main account and then it puts it into other accounts and then into retirement accounts. And it does it every month without me. I just got to make sure I keep the funnel full. <laughs> I like that idea. I totally, totally, totally like that idea because what you're telling me that you do is systematic saving and dollar cost averaging. So that's definitely something that needs to be done. But before we even get to that point, we have to make sure we understand what the goals are. So just going back to the retirement. So if a client comes in and they say, I need $5,000 a month for the rest of my life. First, we need to find out when you want to retire. If you want to retire at 59 and a half, like some people want to do where they're 65, uh, you know, it may be a different age. So now we need to find out, okay, if that's the age that you want to retire in, before we go into putting money into a systematic uh, saving strategy, we need to find out if we're going to put it into something that saves you from taxes or is it taxable? Are we going to put it in something that you can get to in case of emergency or something that you cannot touch? So we have to get real clear on what this lifestyle is going to look like, because I love the fact that you're doing systematic saving strategies and dollar cost averaging, but it's always keen to make sure that you're doing proper placement because it's some, most people have the majority of their money in their 401k which is really messed up because when you want to purchase a home you can only get to a certain amount of your 401k if you're a first-time home buyer and if you're not a first-time home buyer and you can't get into your 401k for that you need to go someplace else so it's different it's different things that take place in life because life happens every day so we have to make sure that we have proper placement of our fund of our funds to get to when when we need them well, you're a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> it's good to have an advisor that knows how to, has something to advise. <laughs> uh, you know, just like I was saying that compounding can go up, it can also go down. So if you're existing off $5,000 a month and all of a sudden you get to that $4,999 a month, it can go backwards just as fast, right? Yes, it can. And can you imagine those people that are planning for retirement right now in this pandemic? Yeah. Some people 
cannot retire right now because their accounts have lost 10, 15, 20%. And they're trying to figure out, okay, what should I do? Because I have to make my next move, my best move. And it's hard. So those are some of the things that you need to take into account that there's going to be things that you didn't plan for. I mean, when I was doing events, I was, that's what I did. Mostly I did events. And when I was thinking everybody does events, everybody's going to want to meet people face to face live at an event. So I'm getting into events, hospitality, travel, and tourism. That's going to be a great place to be. Then all of a sudden pandemic happened. Whoa, where's the events? I never expected it. And I wouldn't have never expected that something like coronavirus would take place. This I've never, I've, I've never experienced anything that completely shut down America. The world. The world. The world. Yeah, it certainly did. And fortunately, I have experience with this online world. So what I do is I did a pivot over to the online thing. And it uh, it's affected me because all my other stuff is gone. But now the events are online. I'm using a lot of the same strategy that I had in place. It's just that they're, they're um, webinars instead of meetups, you know, similar kind of thing. And then. It, and it's still a meetup. Oh, it's still a meetup. It's just online. It's just yeah. that I can't reach out and touch you, but I'm enjoying looking at you right here online. So it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's close. That's what I like about the video thing. Instead of the walkie talkie back and forth chatty stuff, I like being able to communicate and fluctuate voice and hear your laughter. And it's almost like being there. Almost. <laughs> almost, almost. And, and it's good to look at someone in their eyes to kind of get a gauge on who they are and what they're about. Well, you know, whenever I have these people that are trying to scam me on stuff and I can kind of sense it because of my magic background, I can kind of tell when there's some deception going on. First yeah. thing I do is I say, let's get on a video. And they stop real quick. If it's a scammy person, they don't get on video. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I learned something. Thank you. I'll record them. Yeah. I want to, hear, I want to see what's going on. I'm not going to do business with somebody that's way over in... Sri Lanka or something anyways. I want someone close to home, you know? Exactly. You want someone close to home, you want someone that has your best interest in mind, and you got to look them in the eye sometimes just to really get good a good gauge on who they are. And you said you do some event-related stuff, right, for your business? I really do. I truly do, and I'm looking forward to hopefully partnering with you on a couple different things and learning from you. Um, the events that I have... Um, for my clients that are interested in retirement, when they do retire, finally, we have a retirement party for them. And we have some gorgeous rooftops in Chicago that we go to and we have champagne because it's a joyous occasion to be able to say, I comfortably am about to retire and, and spend the rest of my life doing what I love to do. So we do that as well as um, I make sure that my clients are appreciated and every year I have a giving thanks event and I have it around Thanksgiving. Perfect. It's seasonal. They know when to look forward to that party. <laughs> yes. And they feel appreciated. And once again, champagne is served. <laughs> okay. You have to show the appreciation, you know, someone's taking, they're putting their literally their entire life into your hands. You, <laughs> you got to say thank you. Right. <laughs> Yes, yes, and I love, I love what I do. I would do it for free if I didn't have those three sons because they're constantly in my pocket. But I well, love you don't want to do it for free, and I'll explain why. And you can give me some input on it because I believe that things multiply. So it, zero also multiplies, and when it does that, it creates a vacuum. So at least do it for a penny, because if you do okay. it for zero, it's going to go backwards. It's going to be into, uh, more and more nothing. You don't want more and more nothing. No, I don't. No, I don't I like don't. the word free. I, I don't like the word free. I, I eliminate the word free at this point. I've eliminated Rebuke. that. Rebuke. <laughs> Rebuke. <laughs> no, I can see complimentary or gratis or, you know, I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart. I'm volunteering and stuff. But when people, like when I see all these people doing these, you know, free webinar, well, I know exactly what the value is. 
Exactly. I know what you're really doing. You want my email address. You can send me some stuff because you eventually want to sell me some. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in business because business is about money. Yes, it is. Yes, it is because we are a for-profit business. So you are correct. Well, even are nonprofits are for-profit, let me tell you. Yes. Those yes. executive directors got some pretty good salaries behind them. So I, I have just learned terminology from you today, sir, and you are correct. No longer is the word free in my terms that I use. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, Kimberly, I don't want to take too much more time because time is a commodity that we all have. You know, people used to say time is money. If yes, time was is. money, we'd all have the same amount. But we don't. We've got different. <laughs> <laughs> amounts of money and we got 24 hours in a day all of us so it depends on how I use it so I try to keep these a little bit more condensed so they get to know who you are and what you do and then when I beam this up to the universe I'll put your links and stuff in there so they can contact you but why don't you tell us how can we get a hold of you if we say we want to talk to Kimberly well please give me a call at 312-792-4216 that's 312-792-4216 or either on my website uh, Kimco International.com or either by Facebook, Kimco International. So, how do you do that? Kimco, is it K I M C O? K I M C O International. International. So, you're ready to move out if you have to, right? Yes, I am all across the world. I was going to go retire in Bali till I got married and plans changed, but I was thinking about going over to Bali. <laughs> You, you can still go. You can have a long distance relationship. You go to Bali for two months and come back. No, I, I think I'll take her with. Okay. I, would, I would look in getting some property over there because it's beautiful. It is. Anyways, Kimberly Coe, international.com. We're going to get off here, but I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to do another one of these down the road, um, we can have some conversation for that. If you've got a launch or when you're, you're doing your your rooftop parties, let me know. You can do a Facebook Live from your rooftops. We'll broadcast it to the world. Yes, that sounds like a good time. I like it. If you want to stay on, we'll have a little chat after. But I appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe, rebranding to The Magic Brad Show. Okay. Peace.